Get excited, it's time to look at Silver Spoon. Hello and welcome to that man. That is my merchandise and today we are looking at Silver Spoon. Is this series worth your time? Dear God, it's so good. It is really good. Now, I did cover Silver Spoon a few weeks ago um, because I read volume one. And I've now read four volumes, which is actually encompassing volume one or season one of the anime series, which I've just finished watching as well. Yeah, I got a bit addicted to that slightly. But yeah, um, this is an interesting series and I do want to discuss it more with you guys. So this has been brought to us by Yen Press, written by and artist by or manga card by Hiromu Arakawa. Now she is the creator of Full Metal Alchemist. In my opinion, this one's better than Full Metal Alchemist. So yeah, we've got quite a decent pedigree going into this series. Now this series tells us the story of Hachiken, a young man who is a little bit lost in life. He's always kind of pushed himself to be the best in terms of academics and he kind of has a bit of a breakdown and he decides that he's going to go to and enrol in, oh what's it called, um, this is, we've got the Oizo, he's going to enrol in the Oizo Agricultural High School, so he goes to Agricultural college essentially. He thinks it's going to be a bit easier for himself. He thinks it's going to be a little bit more he, he can he can ace the tests and the rest of it will just come naturally. What he doesn't realise is that the tests like the maths and the English that is just a little tiny bit of the um, the syllabus. The rest of it is looking after animals. So yes we have not only we have a high school series we have a farming series and also a food series. This is definitely a food series through and through because yeah food comes from animals basically and this is something that is hammered into us again and again and again. You can look after these animals. Can you eat the animals? And this is something that comes very much head to head with Hatchikin as he absentmindedly names a young piglet Porkball. And over the course of these four volumes, he has to come with the realization that Porkball may not make it out. Porkball is basically being alive just to be eaten. And he ends up bonding with a lot of different people. Now all of his friends, all of his classmates, they are all farmers through and through. Their families are all farmers and each of them have different ideals. So we have the young girl, the love interest and she runs, she, she comes from a family and she's ultimately expected to take on the role of looking after the farm and the rest of the family get a bit too old. And we've got another one who really wants to be a baseball star for the reason that baseball makes a lot of money and unfortunately his dad had passed away and his mom is left with looking after the, the farm with the, her, his two sis, younger sisters. He wants to do baseball just to kind of get money for her so she can make it a little bit more easy to say like, we can't afford we can't afford to just hire people these are small little farms it's not like one of these massive 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 huge farms where they just make money 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 and um, we do have another character Tamako um, who is the daughter of a very high prestige farm this is like one of these massive massive farms which are kind of like we they employ hundreds of people they kind of do this this and this and it, as you can imagine already we are getting characters who are coming from all different backgrounds all farming related but different ways we've got one who aspires to be a vet 
Um, we've got one who just wants to go back and look after the chickens. We've got one who um, who's more interested in making cheese, for example. And it's really interesting how all of these characters, they are all different, but they all want kind of a similar goal. And this is where stuff like this, in my opinion, works better over other series such as My Hero Academia. Um, I know My Hero Academia is my punching bag, but in my opinion, when it comes to school-based series at the moment, My Hero Academia is easily the most relatable or most popular one. My Hero Academia, everybody wants to be a hero. That's it. We don't... We do get kind of some characters where they're just like, well, I want to be a hero for this reason. I want to be a hero to send money back. Um, I want to be a hero because I want to protect people. I want to be a hero to get the girls. Yeah, but it's still just, I want to be a hero. Most of the other stuff kind of comes with attachments on what it is to be a hero. But yet, in this series, I kind of felt all of these characters have different desires. All of these characters have different strengths and weaknesses. A lot of these characters end up questioning what they are going through. She doesn't really want to take over the farm, however she feels because she's the, the sole daughter, she's got no choice. I mean, in my opinion, she's the love interest and Hachikin, the main character, is very much, he doesn't have a goal, he doesn't know where he's going in life, he kind of just flumped into this and he's just doing this and running with it. I mean, I'm expecting eventually they'd probably end up together and he'll take over the farm so she doesn't have to worry about it. But, yeah, it's kind of interesting how each of these characters have different interests. All these characters are looking at farming in different scopes rather than just being, well, I want, I, I want to do the, I want to be a farmer so I can do this. I want to be a farmer so I can do that. And say, no, farming for me is I want to do this, but I want to do it in this kind of way. I want to look at it at this. Um, for example, the cheese loving girl, she ends up uh, eventually deciding that she wants to discover how um, pigs are fattened up using whey products rather than just like, it's just like, well, I want, my, I want to base my career on cheese, but it's like, I need to know this, 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 and this. The vet, he ultimately ends up realizing that um, he's going to have to see how a slaughterhouse works. And yeah, because at the end of the day, vets do work in a slaughterhouse. Vets have to make sure that um, animals are clean, free of disease before they go out and unfortunately are killed and are processed. This series does not pull any punches, by the way. It does have the harsh realities of farming. And like I said, we did talk about Hachiko and Pork Cutlet, or Pork Ball, whatever he's called. And he is coming to realise that Pork Ball, he's been grown for meat. And this is something that's hammered in again and again and again. They're like, well, why have you named him? And it's like, it's going to be more difficult for when you've got to let go. And then they're like, See, they got all, later on, like the other farmers are just like, like the other characters are like, oh well, when I was younger, when I was little, I used to name them, and I used to scream, I used to cry when they had to go, but over the years I just got desensitized to that. But we're seeing it through Hatchikin's eyes, and so like, I really like that aspect of how it's working. He's not being desensitized. He's ultimately having to see, look, do. I, I don't know if I can eat this animal, but then he does eat, he, for example, we see it very early on, he um, looks after some chickens and he's like, oh well, and then he, they have chicken and they're just like, oh I really enjoyed that chicken, and like, well you do realise this that chicken was that chicken that you saved, and the reason that was that because it was, there was something wrong with it, and he's like, oh, and he's like, but I really enjoyed the food. And it's one of those things that we kind of see, again, it was similar with Golden Kamui. It's one of those attitudes that we kind of see with more Japanese culture than we do over here. When you go to a restaurant and have a beef burger, or if you have a steak, you don't think much about the animal. But in Golden Kamui and Silver Spoon, they genuinely do think of the animal and it's like, like well we're not going to let any of it go to waste 
And realistically, the animal wouldn't be alive if it wasn't born for this. Um, the reason the chicken died was because it wasn't laying enough eggs, but it still serves a purpose. And one of the things I actually kind of was very surprised by, because it's not something I ever thought of, when, and we see it a lot, and we see this a lot in a lot of series, when Japanese people have food, they just go, thank you for the food. We don't do that. But through Silver Spoon, through, through Golden Kamui, we realise they're thanking the animal. Thank you, hen, chicken, for giving yourself up for me. Now, I know, it, I mean, it, stuff like being a vegetarian is brought up and he's just like, I want to be a vegetarian. And then he's like, then he's just like, Oh, have some beef skewers, and it's just like, oh, oh, but I love meat too much, and yeah, it's one of those series. It's like, yeah, I'm. It does think about that, but at the end of the day, people's livelihoods would be out of a business if people didn't eat meat. I'm not. I'm not. This is not going to be a don't eat meat kind of thing. But if you are eating meat, why not thank the animal? It doesn't take a second, it doesn't take a minute. At the end of the day, some animal did give up its life so you could eat. That was its pure thing to be. That was why it was born. That was why it was grown. That was why it was kept alive. So you could enjoy your bacon sandwich. Why not thank it? Give it a little bit of respect. I probably will start and try and do that a little bit more. It's one of those things we don't think about is on like on, on a Western culture. We just think, oh, mm, nice steak. Oh, oh, mm, 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 it was a bit grisly. Mm, 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 mm. That manager looked at that, that that employee looked at me the wrong way. I'm gonna put a one star review on the thing. Oh, this was expensive. Mm. But yeah. So yeah, silver spoon. I would really recommend this one. Honestly, it was really good read. It's got a lot of slapstick humour in as well, so if you like that kind of thing, I was laughing about it quite a lot. And it does have a lot of emotional moments, especially more so in the anime. Um, the anime was beautifully done. Um, it, yeah, there was a little bit of budget here and there, but yeah, I'm definitely going to recommend Silver Spoon as a, a title for you to pick up if you've never read it so far. So far, I believe there's volumes 1 to 9 out in English. In Japan, there's about 1 to 14, I think. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here which is great. There's a lot of stuff in here which is a lot of fun. And in my opinion, I would definitely recommend you check it out. There's a lot of content to it and you will get a full new respect for animals. You will get a more respect for like how people treat animals. And it's great high school drama series. Like I said, it's it's a little bit different. Um, the characters do have similar goals, but they all go about it different ways. And each of the characters are set in their own kind of way of doing things. So we are seeing development for all of the characters and each of the characters are getting good development. Um, yeah, definitely recommend Silver Spoon. It's brought to us by Yen Press. Um, yeah, I would completely recommend it. Let me know in the comments if you've already read it or if, uh, what you think of it and if it's changed your outlook on eating, well, food really. Um, that's it from me. Thank you very much for coming and if you did enjoy the words out of your mind mouth, why not check out some other stuff? Why not leave a like? Why not consider subscribing? There's plenty more around here and around here including stuff like Dr. Stone and of course that one there. Yeah. Thanks for coming and thanks again for staying. Goodbye.